Urban development and the growth of agriculture using new farming practices and technology are overtaking the landscape in the Midwest and throughout the United States at an alarming rate. This loss of habitat is having a direct impact on our honeybees. If you like food, you need bees. Honeybees pollinate one in three bites of the food we eat. A diverse and affordable diet, including foods like almonds, melons, squash, berries, vegetables, and even meat and dairy, all rely on honeybees for pollination. The demand for domestic honey is increasing, but the amount of honey produced per hive is decreasing, creating shortages and profit margin losses for beekeepers. Since colony collapse disorder, an average of 40% of the honeybee colonies that provide us these benefits will die each year. Our honeybees are in crisis. Changes in agricultural practices and land use policies have diminished forage and habitat and put pollinator health in peril. We think about the four Ps, parasites, pathogens, pesticides, and poor nutrition. Well, that fourth P, poor nutrition, that's about forage and good habitat on the landscape. 60% of the nation's pollinating honeybees spend the summer in the upper Midwest and northern plains, where they make honey and rebuild their strength, which prepares them for pollination. California almonds alone require 2 million hives of honeybees in late winter. Without proper nutrition during the months leading up to pollination, these bees struggle to thrive and provide these important services that put food on America's table. I believe that forage, having good forage, is fundamental to honeybee health. That's almost a no-brainer in research. Uh, if bees have good nutrition, they're just so much more resilient to all the different diseases and pests and pesticides that are thrown against them. Beekeepers have been keeping bees for a hundred years where they have focused entirely on finding habitat, but we've already found all the habitat and it's depleted. So now what we have to do is learn how to create it. We have to invest in it. Just like innovations have increased the efficiency and productivity of modern agriculture, we also apply new innovations and technology to work with agriculture to make conservation as good as it can be. The Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund Next Gen Project is working with landowners, farmers, beekeepers, and other key groups to identify unused or underproducing land and plant high-quality seed mixes that benefit honeybees, monarch butterflies, and other native pollinators. We very specifically called them next-gen habitat projects because this project and this result brings new innovation and new technology to how we design and how we establish and manage this habitat. It's different than how we've been doing pollinator projects before this. Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund seed mixes are designed by biologists and experts to provide the best nutritional value to our pollinators. In the pilot phase of our program, over 120 landowners and farmers established next-gen habitat projects that benefit pollinators, dramatically improving forage and nutrition for honeybees. But that's not all. Next-gen habitat provides many environmental and ecological benefits for songbirds, game birds, water quality, soil health, and other wildlife. This new and impactful program shows quick results, and we are already making a difference. But with your support, we can do much more to reverse these trends. The Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund is bringing innovation and technology to pollinator habitat. Everybody can make a difference by supporting our efforts. Help the Bee and Butterfly Habitat Fund by putting more pollinator habitat like this onto the landscape. A contribution of as little as $100 will give us one acre of this habitat on the landscape. Get involved. Be a part of our next-gen habitat solutions. Visit beeandbutterflyfund.org and projectapism.org. And